So Karen will be talking about uh, how about Git in when when you are developing multiple packages. So uh, Sean will, Sean likes to open source his code. He will publish it in GitHub, and you know uh, because more Git repos make your GitHub profile look more impressive, right? So he publish so he he made every package a Git repo and then publish it to his GitHub. And good for him. Like he receives a lot of like issues and pull requests. People are really like people really like his um, widgets. So there's this um, so like people actually making uh, merge requests to like fix it and make it more awesome. So this is in the awesome input, right? But then if you fix it here, you also have to make merge requests to you have to make pull requests to other like email input and currency input. You have to like say, oh, use the latest version because it is more awesome. So it, so it might be a confusing if you are just looking at this email input merge request and you don't have the context. You have to like click it and go to the. You have to go to awesome input repo to see what's happening. And a lot, so a lot of times in his merge request, he sees like in in like this uh, awesome uh, material de awesome design, right? He only can see. Um, one like one file change and then he has no context of it and he have to make sure uh, he have to go to the uh, go to the other repo to check it out what's changed uh. so basically uh, what I'm trying to uh, come show here is that if you have if you separate your packages into different repos and then you will have to have like mul you will have multiple merge requests that does one thing, which is just to make like awesome input awesome in version one point three. But now you have like three four merge requests scattered around just to like do that. So people who are familiar with Git might know this uh, Git sub module. So it's worth mention about Git sub module here. So what Git sub module is is like you have a one Git repo, and inside you have multiple Git repos. So to it to awesome design right this git repos within itself is called a git submodules. So one good thing about git submodule is that you can organize a git uh, your this main git repo that all these are inside uh, uh, all this is referenced inside and like for uh, in terms of the file uh, file system it looks as if email input is just right in here. So you can easily develop them. You don't have to do the npm link. You don't have to do the sim link. But then the problem of this is that now you will have to make sure that after you make changes, you have to commit in. Like if you make changes in email input, you have to commit in email input first, and then when that when after you make a commit, uh, the hash of this will change, and then you will have to commit in awesome design. To make that uh, and commit in awesome design, and then often case that two people working on the same widget and they have a different hash, they will have a merge conflict in awesome design, and in this merge conflict, right, you only can see two conflicting hash. You have no idea what's changed down there. You have to go to the individual to the email input repo and to check it out, like what is this hash doing, right? So it, it's it's very confusing uh. yeah, This is one of the drawback of using Git sub modules. So lastly, uh, talk about mono repo. So what mono repo is that is you are going to have multiple packages uh, resides within one Git repository. So in this case, um, when you make like adding awesome Sparkle when hover for this awesome input. You can have you can have other packages saying like oh you're updating this version and then the actual change is here la. right so you can see very clearly that every change is in one commit a merge request and so you don't have to switch between repos to know the context and also it doesn't have the uh, uh, it doesn't have the complication of like the git sub module where you have to handle weird uh, merge conflicts. So who is using monorepo? 
like React itself is a mono repo. You can see like in React you have React, React DOM, React Native Renderer, all within one React repo. Babel itself is also a mono repo, like the Babel Core and the Helper and Babel Transform plugins are all in one Babel repository. <coughs> so lastly, uh, our um, it's worth mentioning that if you are going to uh, use mono repo in managing packages, you might con want to consider using Learner, because Learner is um, is a tool that helps you to link all the dependencies together in your in your project, and then it also help you to publish them. So, any questions? <coughs>